In this next series of lessons, we're going to talk about several different types of surfaces, and we're going to build some basic geometry to work on that. I'm going to start by right-clicking my mouse and going to an isometric view. And I'm going to hit function key F9 on my keyboard to bring up my crosshair so I can see where my zero is. And I'm going to roll my wheel out a little bit. Now we're going to be drawing these lines through a front view. So let's change our construction plane to a front view. And now we can create our first line. And when it asks for the first endpoint, I'm going to hit my space bar to go into fast point mode. And I'll tell it that it's at minus 3, comma, 0. That's x minus 3, y0, as viewed through the front view. Now from there, I want to put the next position in as a radius and an angle. So I'm going to hit L to specify the length of this line as being 4 inches. And then I'll tab over to the next field, which is the angle. And I'll say the angle is going to be 135 degrees. And we'll hit Enter. For my next line, it's going to be from the end point here. And then I'll specify the length again. So I'll hit L and say 4 inches and tab over. And we'll tell it this angle is going to be 225. And we'll hit OK. Next, I want to make copies of this. And I want to rotate those copies around this center point. So we're going to be rotating those around through the top view. So let's switch our plane back to top. Next, on our Transform toolbar, we're going to pick Transform Rotate. It says select the entities to rotate. I'll hold down my Shift key and pick this line. And it will select it as a chain. We'll end our selection. We'll tell it that we're going to be making copies and that we want five copies. Now this is the rotation point, which is going to default to the origin, so I don't have to specify anything. And for the angle between each item, I'm going to say 180 divided by 5. Now I actually wanted that to go around the other side, so we'll tell it to reverse that direction. That looks good, so we'll say OK. So I'll roll my wheel out a little bit here, and I'm going to hit F9 again to turn off my crosshairs. The next thing we want to do is put some blends across these. We're going to put in a fillet. And I'm going to start with a fillet of a half inch between this and this. And then between this and this, we want a fillet of three quarters. And then between this one and this one, we want a fillet of one and a quarter. And then between here and here, we want a fillet of 1.5. And then between here and here, we'll do 1.75. And then between here and here, we want a radius of 2. And we'll OK that. So the first type of surface I'm going to do here is a ruled surface. And I want to do this to show you some of the differences. So we're going to start by picking Create Ruled Lofted Surface. And I'm going to pick each one of these chains. Make sure you pick them all from the same side, because that will make a difference. Once they're all selected, we'll hit OK. And if I turn on my shading, you can see we have a nice, smooth transition between all of those. Okay, and that looks like we have a nice curve going around the outside. And it's curved, but it's not circular. Now with this type of surface, it's actually going to go through each one of these curves. And right now, it's doing a lofted surface. But if I change that to a ruled surface, you'll see the other possibility is that it's just laying a ruler across each one of those edges. And you can see this is not curved any longer. It's just straight line transitions from one cross section to the next cross-section. And again, sometimes you may want that. That might be what you're looking for. But in this case, we'll say we want the lofted for a smooth, blended transition. We're going to OK that. And I probably should have put that on a separate layer, but we'll do that now. I'll right-click on Levels. 
I'll pick my surface and my selection and we'll tell it to put that on level 2. Let's go back to our level manager and we're going to create level 3 and we're going to turn off level 2 for now.